allowed me to experience something new and learn a lot of different skills that I couldn't have otherwise and at the same time still pursue my own interests. So I've learned how to, I don't know, manage volunteers and coordinate projects and also um, provide customer service to our partners, which are things that I had no experience with previously, um, and that it is like very exciting and interesting, and that at the same time I can pursue my own interests, like journalism, social media marketing, and even advertising and design, website design to some degree. I was always curious about the nonprofit world and the good work that it does, and I wanted to learn more about it. Invista was a great opportunity to do that. But um, I also really like the idea that you're helping an organization become more sustainable in its work. So Vista is by you know, building capacity and helping to develop programs um, or just make sure that those programs run well uh, really allows it to then do the work and fulfill the mission that it's set out to do. It pretty much has been embed embedded in me to volunteer. I volunteered a lot when I was in Catholic school, when I was in high school. It was a great way to keep me out of trouble, kind of expose me to the world a little bit. Um, all throughout college, I gained some experience working with nonprofits as a volunteer, and it was just a great way to kind of give back, which is what I loved doing from a very young age. And I figured Vista would be a wonderful opportunity to kind of enhance those skills. It's a great resume builder, and I love what I do. So. So a typical day here at Serve Rhode Island, uh, I spend a lot of my time and energy towards helping our nonprofit partners kind of succeed in their mission. So that means communicating with over 100 nonprofit agencies from around Rhode Island that we work with on a regular basis to like recruit and mobilize volunteers. I kind of provide a lot of different technological and kind of like data resources for our nonprofit partners. So we have an online volunteer management system called Hands On Connect uh, that I kind of like helped to set up a couple of months ago. So we use that to post volunteer opportunities online and so you can register as a volunteer or as a nonprofit agency and use it from both sides of the spectrum. So I kind of help out with the administration and management of that. I actually split my time between being here in the office and at the school. So I usually come into the office in the morning and that can mean, you know, corresponding with different volunteers who have expressed interest in helping out at the school or working on planning a service project. And then I'll usually go into the school uh, between 10.30 and 11 and, you know, see other community partners that are there, talk with some kids, find teachers that I need to like schedule meetings with so I can match a volunteer with them. Um, sometimes I'll work with administrators like the principal at um, going through the school and finding projects that you know need to be done for these groups of volunteers. My big, biggest projects right now is Slater Service Corps so it's an after-school program every Wednesday from 2 30 to 4 30 and I try and plan different community service events for them so they can actually go out into the community um, and get kind of a hands-on feel. A group of about 12 seventh graders that come together and we kind of just sit and talk about issues that are going on in the community. Another big part of my role at Slater Junior High School in Pawtucket is to bridge that gap that is that exists now between the teachers and the parents and kind of get the parents more involved and have them become a little more aware of, what, of the happenings at Slater because a lot of the times um, they don't know what's going on. Most of the parents are Spanish speaking, Creole speaking, they don't know English at all. So, my job is to kind of bring more volunteers into the school and connect. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's always the, uh, the times when I actually get to like reach out and actually meet the volunteer coordinators and really see the impact that I've had on their organizations when I get the phone call where they say, oh, we've had so many volunteers come out because of the work you've done through the, the Projo column that you do or when I have volunteers, uh, volunteer coordinators come in for trainings and I can hear about all how excited they are about all the new volunteers they've gotten, you know, the new resources that we're providing, and it's really great to kind of put a human face to all the, the digital work that I've been doing. Unfortunately, a really uh, underserved school. So they have some of the worst test scores, they have um, a large population of ELL students and students with special needs. So, resources as they need. 
So by finding volunteers that can then just give them a little bit extra attention or give them that one-on-one -on -one time, uh, knowing that I'm finding volunteers to help them with that is um, really meaningful to me. Working with the kids, they're awesome, they're really funny. A lot of the conversations that I have with them are conversations that I never thought I would be having. Um, but just kind of just connecting with them, just getting to know them and knowing that they look forward to seeing me whenever I go to the school. It's always an awesome feeling.